Well, here we are. Uh, some of you, uh, if you may have saw me on Facebook this morning, uh, my post said I was going up to uh, work at my hunting camp today. And uh, I've been working and sweating pretty good. So I thought I'd shoot a little bit of video of what I got here. Found a spot. It's got some old growth next to some reprod. And here we have the tent. And you may be looking at that tent and going, okay, Dave's losing it. Or he's intentionally designed that tent for air conditioning. <laughs> Wrong on both accounts. <laughs> what I've got is... When we lived in Yakima, I had a 14 by 12 wall tent that came with four foot walls. And what we found was is the side walls just weren't tall enough to have enough interior room. So I went and had the local tent shop put an extension on it. And um, so I had six foot walls and I put uh, a vinyl material, uh, uh, kind of a naga hide material so that when it snowed, just the bottom two feet got the nylon on it and nothing got soaking wet and, and rotted. So when we left Yakima, I says, oh, I'm going to have to sell that tent. I don't, I'm not going to need it up down there in Oregon. It's just too much stuff to move. And uh, <laughs> one of those mistakes you, you regret. So here I am hunting, and I'm going, you know, I need to get a tent for bat in the back, more in the back country. So I don't have to hike in so far in the morning. So I'm watching the Craigslist ads for use wall tents and I'm uh, stuffing a little bit of sticker shock and then I finally saw this these this elderly couple in Ontario they were advertising this wall tent for $35 and um and I got it there and I looked at it and I said okay I'll take it and I got it home and kind of laid it out and I went oh crap these walls are only two and a half feet tall so I had a number of repairs needed to be done to it and my wonderful wife Jamie um, got out her sewing machine and and put a few patches here and there. Um, I think there's another one somewhere. Oh yeah, there was a, a aluminum stovepipe jack there, which I really don't like a stovepipe jack in the roof. Um, I'd rather have it up on the front wall. Uh, reason being is my brother and I we learned a long time ago with the wall tents we always put a tarp all the way over the top of the wall tent and that keeps the snow off the tent keeps it dry and um, keeps it uh, losing my tr I'm tired sorry folks uh, anyway you see that ridge pole above the tent? That's where my tarp is going to go. And it, the tarp is going to go all the way from the back, uh, somewhere around by that ladder. And I'll have kind of a little little cubby area in the front um, of the tent for a drying off area. And maybe doing some cooking or something. Yeah, I know, me and cooking. Um, I burn water. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I've got some spare... Uh, plastic tarp that we tried to use as for covering our motorhome it wound up splitting down the seam and it's about four feet tall and I've got a two and a half foot gap here to cover because I set these posts roughly at about five feet tall and um, I'll take that tarp and I'll go all the way around with it I'll have to do something for the doorway area different but um, anyway that's my plan is to put some of the tarp around the bottom bottom layer there and it can get wet all it's want touching the ground if one if it snows because it has snowed two out of two out of the last three years uh, during hunt season end of September this is what I've got so far 
inside the wall tent. I don't know if you can get a feel for how big that is. And it's a little bit after 2 o'clock and starting to get finally a little bit of sun on my camp spot. Um, which I think is doable. My last spot last year I packed in um, some camp gear and um, it wasn't a wall tent, it was a nylon tent and I got to the campsite and there was condensation and water all over the inside of my tent just from the weather. And, um, oh, where'd he go? Oh, there was a little butterfly there for a second. So this year I picked a different spot. It's in this nice old growth with shade. It's not near water. Um, probably the closest water about a quarter of a mile. But um, I came up here three times, kind of eyeballing it and, and trying to judge if the wind was going to be bad in here or not. And it, on a windy day, it was apparently some, it's in some kind of a uh, leeward uh, situation. So I don't think I'm going to have to deal with wind up in here at all. Um, the only thing I need, I think, really be concerned is uh, the snow load on the tent if it snows during the hunting season again. Uh, and the other benefit is this is a high enough spot up here that I can get cell phone coverage while I'm at camp. Not that I spend all my time on the cell phone while I'm hunting, but uh, it's nice to uh, check in with uh, Jamie. I know she appreciates it every night uh, when I'm, if I can when I'm hunting so she knows that I'm all right because I'm usually by myself. And... Um, Let's see. Shade from wind. Shade from sun. Cell phone coverage. That's why I picked this spot. Anyway. I'll post this video and you guys fire away with the questions. If you have any. But uh, this is going to be my uh, spike camp this year. And uh, hopefully I'll get enough stuff in here for hunting season that uh, I'll be uh, fairly comfortable. Peace out.